We're inside the Grammy Museum in Los Angeles, California for the opening of the history of heavy metal in conjunction with the Revolver Golden Gods Awards. It keeps getting bigger and better. I'm so proud of this place right now. If you come to LA, you have to come visit the Grammy Museum because this exhibit offers everything heavy metal wants. Like anybody in heavy metal, any heavy metal fan, I don't care what you like, you'll enjoy this place. Uh, right here you can hear a little Meshuga over here. Uh, they have a couple drum kits in which you can learn how to play like Thomas Hockey, but nobody can play like Thomas Hockey. And of course, as you can see behind me, we got the Marshall Slayer full stack, the one they've used many times to make a lot of noise. Yes, this is the Slayer one, it's all beat up and stuff. And we can't forget one man who passed away, Mr. Jim Marshall, who invented basically electric amplification and basically shaped the sound for what heavy metal would sound like guitar was. You know, every single guitar player out there knows this. Uh, we also have a hall full of guitars that you can check out. We have a Black Sabbath Kids exhibit. It has so much cool stuff. And one of the best parts is the theater. They're playing constantly, constantly your favorite heavy metal artist at full blast, full bass. You should just come here and chill, man. Now check out the Grammy Museum, the history of heavy metal. Here with Jose Mangan from Liquid Metal, Headbangers Ball, Latin Nation, all that good stuff. Yeah. How are you, man? Yeah, what's up, Joseph? Horns up, my friends. Hanging out on the West Coast, man. This yeah. is cool. Behind a, a stack of Marshalls, man. Rest in peace. Jim Marshall, man, of course, man. Um, changed the, the rev, you know, revolutionized our music, man. Joseph, horns up, man. There'll be no noise without Jim Marshall. No, man, definitely not, man. So it's actually cool to, to be here actually next to all this stuff. You can see this blood and spit and cum and all this <laughs> stuff in these, in these speaker grills here. It's awesome, man. This is a really cool little event and display of our music and our history. It's really cool, man. I love to see corporations get behind like metal. You know, and this, this costs money. This is a big deal. This is not, you know, down on the corner in some barber shop. This is, you know, the Grammy Museum and they're paying tribute to our music, man. So hell yeah. And from what you've seen here so far, what is the piece that you're just like, you tripped out on? Oh, it's easy. I mean, the first thing, well, there's two things. My friend Sonny and I were talking about it. Uh, the Black Sabbath cape, uh, Ozzy's cape is probably one of the coolest things. But for me, uh, my favorite is uh, Dime's Dean from Hell. Obviously, uh, Dime is my favorite musician and Pantera's my favorite band. And that was the first thing that I kind of came in yesterday. We had a Mayhem Festival meeting here and I came and I was just, Real quick, I was like, oh, this is really cool. And then bam, that blue guitar, that blue Dean guitar just stood out. And it was like, oh, and I was like, oh, that's my favorite piece right over there, man. And who are you looking forward to seeing tonight or hanging out with tonight here at the Rover Golden Gods Awards? The Golden Gods is, um, this is the fourth year that we've done this and uh, lucky and honored to be a part of all four years. And this year I'm doing uh, black carpet stuff uh, for two hours live. Dee Snyder, myself, and Lizzie Hale. And then uh, after that, and then I'm gonna do introduce the Pantera video on stage for Piss, um, and then I'm gonna introduce Ingve Malmstein, and uh, he's doing the national anthem, and then I'm introducing a performance from 6 a.m., their first performance in over four years. So I'll be doing that. Then after that, I look forward to actually watching the show. I've never seen it. I've been always stuck back behind the scenes and behind backstage and doing interviews uh, and nonstop with presenters and winners. But this year, I'll be able to watch it and you know as I talked to my friend Dave from Machine Head pay 20 bucks for a beer uh, but definitely watch and enjoy the Golden Gods Awards man so performances uh, just to you know Chris Jericho host I just you know just I want to see it I want right. to see it all yep and hey man we got Corn in the house I know that's one of your favorite bands actually Corn is not playing no uh, th this is a uh, breaking news here yeah Corn uh, something happened and they couldn't make it I think Jonathan Davis got hurt 
uh, or hurt his leg or something. But he's not, yeah. But now, what's cool about that though? Now they're gonna make the other performances maybe a, an extra song, you know, like a Trivium gets an extra song. Actually, it's gonna be a really cool cover with some really cool people on stage with them. So uh, it's, they're gonna make it up in really cool ways. Hey, we also got the Metal Masters Click number three tomorrow. It's your birthday also. Yeah. What a what a birthday present. It's a uh, 35th <laughs> birthday party tomorrow at the Key Club in Hollywood. Yeah. And we're gonna be getting our pull on, man. It's gonna be a nutty. Event Revolver is doing their Pantera special issue release party, and Samson Zoom are putting together the clinic with uh, Dave Lombardo, Mike Portnoy, Kerry King, Charlie Bonante, Dave Ellison, and more special guests. And of course, it's going to be awesome. I look forward. I love the Key Club. I'm always at the Key. I was there last night. You know, I'll be there tomorrow night. So it feels like every time I come to the West Coast, I always end up somehow at the Key Club. Thanks, Key Club. <laughs> Hey, we're going to sign up, but don't forget to always listen to Liquid Metal. Watch Headbangers Ball on MTV2.com. And, of course, Latin Nation. Thanks, and, hey, man. man, thank you for everything you yeah, do for metal, Joe, so don't worry. You too, man. Thanks for keeping the All torch, right, brother. Buddy. Yeah. Andale, yeah. Colombianos, por vida. <laughs> Horns up, brother. Hey, what's going on? It's Jose Mangan from Sirius XM and the Headbangers Ball. And you are watching Horns Up Rocks. I throw that trash away because I ride like that. Hi, I'm Phil Susan, and I'm here to wander around, look at all these fantastic exhibits and uh, that represent everything that is like metal that exists, right? You've been around, you've seen all of this stuff, it's fantastic, isn't it? I mean, if you love heavy metal, you've got to come check it out, period. Absolutely, absolutely, this is it. You've got stuff represented from every era of early heavy metal through to the present day. And uh, I'm actually here, we're wandering around, I'm here with Mark Weiss, very famous photographer who took many, many album covers. He would take a lot of our photograph, uh, photographic covers when I was in, in the uh, Ultimate Sin era of Ozzy Osbourne. And uh, he also took an album cover for Twisted Sister, and it had a manhole cover. And they actually brought the manhole cover, it's on show here, a 500 pound manhole cover, right next to Zach's pants. So you got Zach Wilde's pants right there. And um, what I wanted to tell you about was uh, the recent roast for Zach Mark had taken a photograph of Zach that was painted by an artist. Zach signed it, and we're auctioning that off. I'm also a, uh, an eBay celebrity, so I'm auctioning it off for uh, Music Cares, which is part of the Grammys. So all of this is all tying in together. So if you go to celebrity.ebay.com, probably in about a month you'll see that pet painting up there. And what do you tell us a little bit about, you know, what exactly do the funds do, how they, you know, so that they know exactly what they're helping for? M Music Cares is, a, is an amazing program. What they do is they collect money all year round and they distribute it to musicians who are n in need uh, for financial or medical hardship. And it's really easy to qualify. It's meant f to be able to, uh, to get that money easily and for the short term and very quickly. You know, a very dear, close friend of mine, actually my other half in Ozzy was Randy Castillo, was a drummer. Right. And Randy passed away from cancer. He was my best friend. And Music Cares really helped him out. And if they hadn't helped him out, uh, he would have had even a, a lesser chance. I, I don't think he knew about it because he could have gone to them far earlier and got more assistance. So it's important for people to know Music Cares is out there. And not just if you're a musician. I mean, maybe you're on the periphery. So maybe you're an engineer, maybe you're a tech, maybe you're a producer, maybe you work in live sound, but if you're even affiliated, you can always call them and say, hey, I, I got an emergency. I need, I need something, and they're going to help you out. Awesome, and what are you working on at the moment? Any projects you want to excite the fans about? Sure, I actually just released a second solo album called No Protection, and you can find that at, at uh, www.philsusan.com. Uh, apparently, I'm pretty easy to find on the internet, so I <laughs> uh, released that, and I'm just about to announce, uh, you know, I've got my uh, side band called Big Noise with Joel Lynn Turner, Vinnie Appice, and uh, Carlos Cavazzo. So it looks like we're, we're getting ready to pick that up again this year and go out and do some more shows. Exciting news. And now, from all the items here at the museum, which is the one that you were just like, wow, tripping out on? Well, you know, that's a hard one because... Um, a lot of this stuff I have a personal connection to. For example, like, you know, there's Ozzy's cape, and there's, there's, there's items of, of people I know. Uh, I, I, I really don't know. I mean, I hadn't really thought about it, but probably some of the artwork. Some of the poster art is really cool stuff, and it's very unique. I think the one thing that's great 
is the original painting that they use for the Holy Diver album, which is right here. And you can see the whole thing. And when you see the whole thing, it, it's like you're familiar with it through the album, but you see the whole painting, it's like, wow. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, we're going to sign off. I want to thank you for your time and for you're always, welcome. you know, keeping heavy metal alive. Do you have Absolutely. any message for anybody watching right now? Yeah, just keep it alive, man. You know, heavy metal has always been underground. It never disappears. It just comes up. It just goes down. It comes up. It goes down. And it's it's a cause. And because it's a cause, us musicians, fans, we're all in this together. We all got to keep it alive. So keep the cause of heavy metal alive, please. Back here at the Grammy Museum for the opening day of the History of Heavy Metal exhibit. I'm here with Dan Shockville. Tell us what you do, first of all, for those who are wondering right now. Sure, I love this. Horns up. Love you, Ronnie. We miss you, man. Um, I am the sales and marketing manager of Niji Entertainment Group, which is the label that Ronnie James Dio and his wife Wendy Dio started. Um, sadly, Ronnie passed before uh, our first release came out, which was Dio Live at Donington. And we're here at the Grammy Museum in Los Angeles, where we have two pieces of original memorabilia from Dio. We have the original Holy Diver art, which is fantastic if you haven't seen it. And we have um, the original handwritten lyrics to Holy Diver by Ronnie. Back in the old days when you used to send in your lyrics to Harry Fox, you had to write the music and the words. So that's on display here at the Metal Museum also. And tonight, of course, is the Golden God Awards. Um, I was instrumental with Revolver Magazine to get them to change their Lifetime Achievement Award to the Ronnie James Dio Lifetime Achievement Award. And this year, um, we're really happy Rush is receiving the award. And a person who really reignited or ignited the Golden Gods was Ronnie himself. Like, his last public appearance was a few years back here. And why don't you tell us a little bit about that day, because I know you were here with him. Sure. Uh, yeah, I was here with Ronnie. Uh, it was actually his last public appearance, which was... It's, it's bittersweet, I guess you would say. It was his last public appearance. Um, he looked great. He was really happy. Mike Inez and Jerry Cantrell presented him with Vocalist of the Year. And, you know, he was given the horns and the crowd was chanting D. And it lifted his spirits so much. I mean, it was just, it's on YouTube. You can, you can watch it on YouTube. And every time I watch it, I, I smile. And I mean, I, I think of him every day. He was a dear friend and a mentor, I mean, who is not a Dio fan? I mean, I met him when I was 18 years old, I'm 46 now, and to work for him and to carry on his vision, his dream, his dream was to, to have his own label, his own shop where fans could get his merchandise, his shirts, his CDs, and we're doing it now. And, but when he won Vocalist of the Year, it was great. And I like the shirt, by the way, of Mr. Jericho, who is hosting Thank the you. show once again. Jeroholic. <laughs> Jericho on the back. <laughs> he may come out. Um, Wendy was nice enough to give me a Dio jacket, and Chris is a friend of mine, and I gave him my jacket, so he might be wearing it tonight. But Jack Black and Kyle Gass are going to be presenting it, who, of course, Tenacious D were in uh, the Pick of Destiny that Ronnie was in. And for some reason, every time we put up Kickaboo on the Facebook page, fans go crazy. We have over 720,000 fans on the Dio Facebook page, which is pretty good. For Facebook. And what is in the agenda for Fiji Entertainment right now? What do you got? What are you working on? What's coming out? Um, we have a lot of really cool stuff um, that I wish I could say, but I mean, we have some big stuff for Dio fans coming up. What I would recommend doing is going to Facebook and looking for the official Ronnie James Dio Facebook page because we always let the fans know first. And when there's something new, we'll announce it on there first. But we have some two really, really huge deal items coming up. So now I know you heard it here first. Dean, I want to thank you for all the years Always that you've done this. Always you know. a pleasure. And hey, any final words for anybody watching right now? Yeah, what I would like to say is we also have the Ronnie James Dio Stand Up Michelle Cancer Fund. For men, this is really important. If you're over 50 years old, you need to get checked for cancer. You need to go out and get a colonoscopy. Women do it every year. Men don't do it. Men Please, if you love Dio, 
go get a cancer check. Because you never know. Ronnie didn't know he had cancer. If he would have known sooner, he'd still be here with us today. You need to go get checked for cancer. And we have the Ronnie James Dio Cancer Fund, which is called the Ronnie James Dio Stand Up and Shout Cancer Fund. And uh, it's near and dear to my heart. Um, I sit on the board, and we have a big guitar auction coming up. And you'll hear more about stuff coming up. So thanks, everybody. Horns up, man. Yeah, feel